been a good afternoon here in College Park where Maryland beats the Robert Morris Colonials in the NCAA tournament. It was 14 to 11. Bruce, Terps start a little rocky. Well, I'll be honest with you, I was at a Mother's Day party. I got here a little late at halftime, and you said to me, we're losing 6 to 3. We've been totally dominated. And uh, it looks bad. And what did I say? Oh, when? I said, well, when? It was never a doubt in my mind, even though I didn't watch the first half. Mm -hmm. I listened to some of it, but uh, it was no doubt in my mind. The depth, you saw it. When yeah. we, I pointed out to you when they left the field, Maryland goes with twice as many players. And I think it eventually wore him down, and you saw Tillman utilize everybody. He had some great halftime adjustments, as we would expect him to, but it's a little scary. It's a little scary that you could come out and be down six to three to Robert Morris, who's only really marquee win is the defeat of Penn State. Now they're a good team, there's no doubt about it. But uh, according to you, according to Mason, Danny Morris kept us in the game early. Oh yeah, Danny Morris ties his season high with 13 saves, but 11. We we're checking the halftime score sheet. 11 saves and one half is pretty good. Turp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Well, we got to check the, uh, the face offs. I, did Marilyn lose a face off? In the second or, half? In the second half, Maryland was dominant. Everybody from Henningsen to Bonaparte to Shockey all came in and won faceoffs. Yeah, I mean, it was just totally dominant. And when you win every faceoff, somehow right. or another you're going to win the game. But right. Rotance had a couple key goals. Jaron Birdhart came to life a little bit. And let's give it to our guy, number two, Bubba Fairman. He has another hat trick. Another hat trick, yeah. yeah. He had, what, four, I think? Three or four. Three I got to wait yeah. for the final. Uh, Anthony DeMeo, number 16, has three assists in a row when the game was in doubt. Maryland just came out and got four goals in four minutes and changed the whole tone. Well, six to three at halftime, 14 11 final. That means they outscored them 11 to five, to five in the second half, which is where it should be. But uh, coming up against Syracuse or Cornell to get to the final four, uh, it's not going to be a, you fall behind like this, and it could be curtains. You can't keep falling behind. Well, this was the best stretch they've played. In a while, I mean, they, the second you, half. Second half, the, yeah. it was close against. You pointed out Ohio State, Penn State, Rutgers, triple overtime at Hopkins, and they lose to Hop. They also lost to Ohio State. Maryland just didn't look that great for about three or four hours of lacrosse, and then suddenly the lights came on. Obviously, I'm sporting my national championship shirt that I will wear until we, we relinquish. You wear that forever. I don't right. care until we relinquish. Right. You're going to wear that for We're a long still the time. national champions. And uh, got a couple of great games today. I mean, uh, Syracuse and yeah. and uh, Cornell. It's a super game. Five o'clock, Hopkins and Georgetown. And yeah. Hey, you got Denver. Denver and uh, Notre Dame is yeah. on now. Yeah. But don't sit on Georgetown. Kevin Warren has done an incredible job. They're going to give Hopkins all they can handle. Mm -hmm. And we got another little game at 8 o'clock tonight, don't we? Yeah, those Capitals back at it down at the Emily Arena in Tampa Bay. Try and make it 2-0 over the Lightning. Well, Sunday last night, the Golden Knights, or what are they called, Vegas? Yes, Vegas Golden Knights. The Golden Knights didn't look so golden. Well, they're not going to win every game. No, but, but they got handled pretty easily yeah. by Winnipeg. I like the Winnipeg Jets, and I hope if for one reason. One You're going to go to Winnipeg. Well, I could go to Winnipeg. I go to Winnipeg next week, this week. Uh, no, I want the Canadian National Anthem to be part of the pregame. And if Winnipeg goes, a Canadian team hasn't won since 1993. But if Winnipeg goes, you have the Canadian National Anthem. Do you know the words to it? Yes, but we're not going to sing right now. I know it too. Okay. okay. Well, you know, maybe on Wednesday we'll, we'll get to sing a little bit on the radio show. So we're the, the next cap game, we go every other day, right, right. until it's over. Uh, I think the real key game to this series will probably wind up being game four because uh unless the caps win tonight if caps win tonight it's, to me it's curtains of course we said that about the blue jackets yeah, it's happened before yeah look uh usually in these it's whoever wins game five has a huge i think it's 78 percent, 77 percent chance of winning the series usually ends up 2-2 whoever wins game uh five with that 3-2 lead and and then it's uh 
downhill from there. So, Wayne, let me ask you a question. Overall, you happy with Connor Cody today? I thought he had some big goals to turn yeah. this game around. They kind of went quiet. They did. I'd like to know what they said in the locker room because the team that came out in the second half was a far different, more aggressive team uh, than we've seen for weeks. Yeah, it, it definitely is the best they played in the wall. But, uh, boy, the tough guys are coming up now. You're looking at uh, – Syracuse or Cornell, and then Hopkins or well, the whole side of the bracket, and the whole side of the bracket or Duke. So you're not going to get away with this kind of performance. No, you you're have, not going to be able to, to spot them. Have to play like you did in the second half when you have a chance to put them away. Go ahead and do that. We'd like to thank our sponsors: Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, Viner Four Gates, and NPS Nonprofit Services. Good afternoon from College Park.